Hello there! Right, you've seen the title, it says The Arrival. Um, I was going to chuck this as an outtake, I mean, new Predator video and stuff like that, but I wanted to keep more Predator. I was thinking the aliens and arrivals and stuff. And like, yeah, um, Arrival, big box VHS. Now, this has appeared right across the channel for a long time, and I'm aware that there is the receipt. Now, you can go back across on Tree Entertainment, you will see The Arrival. Now, remember there was an Arrival 2 with Rob Lowe. Um, I do like the conspiracy of it. Um, Charlie Sheen made some random films in the 90s, like uh, Major League Two, but like Shadow Conspiracy, Terminal Velocity. This was bought from Global Video on the 16th of the 8th. That's terrifying. <laughs> it's the 6th of the 8th, um, 1987. So like literally bought nearly, like good over nearly 20 years ago now. Um, 7.99, thank you, and again. That was actually set on fire, if I remember rightly, and I'm not going to go through the archive for this video unless I get a light bulb because this is not a priority video to edit of when Abraham set it on fire. It was a retro video, a retro VSS, wasn't it? On the Abraham set it on fire. I am not going to dig that out. A good opportunity just to shout out and go check the archive out. There's some random stuff, and the reason why is because of this. Now, I said to Brit, I had a fancy of watching it. I said to Brit, what is that? I think it was 2 99 posted. And then, there you go, give it a credit. Very early on DVD, that looks really cool, that. You know, the glow on around the alien's head, that's really cool. Yeah, Charlie Sheen added, and this is like very early on, like sort of astronaut's wife and stuff like that, that came out of this time. Um, the Greatest Danger of Space Man, it's a 12. It's always been a 12. And someone's packaged that, you know. Someone's just selling this at home, re wrap them up, sell them on. Um, extras, feature, trailer, audio biography, behind the scenes, approximately 14 minutes. So I could do an audio commentary about this, because I like the mythology, I've just finished a lot of X-Files. But yeah, that's the reason why, but the funny thing is, I said it for it, has the arrival arrived yet? Which I'm talking about. And obviously there's now another film called The Arrival, which I think, on my recent clear out, um, I didn't even finish it. So there's not many films, I mean, it's not, I'm getting picky, but like, um, I recently picked up Arrival, really cheap. And I picked up uh, Capone in two films I haven't even bothered revisiting. I think Arrival is more like, like, ooh, one person's point of view, or like the world's going to fucking end, aliens. I mean, aliens. I believe in aliens, but I don't believe we li li lived on the moon, burn on the moon, or we'll waffle at the end there. But yeah, I just fancied watching that. Ever since I tried to watch the Arrival, and I think this is this is the real Arrival, and obviously there's a sequel and the bit where the legs break backwards. It's just fucking scary. But no outtakes, a random video, as I say, I've been down the channel. But one good thing about the arrival, it's part of that era where you would have um, very super upped um, font, orange. It was a big thing at that time. That's a big ass VHS and that's been around for a very, very long time in my collection. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? Now who's smiling? And this first one has just been added to Netflix. This is Arrival. Charlie Sheen coming off uh, the Hot Shot days. This must have been about 95, so Hot Shots, Hot Shots 2. About this time he was doing another film called Post Mortem, I think it was called that, called Charles Sheen. It's the first time, or Carlos Sheen. Changed his name. It's like an uh, machete kills when he's called Carlos Estevez, which is his real name. This was a bit like um, coming off the back end of Independence Day, set in New Mexico, when there's a signal from space and he, Charlie Sheen goes investigating it. Put hot shots down, man. Rival. No, not the Independence Day. Where, where did you find the Independence Day book? Got in retro videos one. I know it's from one of the other retro videos, but fuck off. Back to this. There's something inside this one. Huh. This is the rival, Charlie Sheen. And basically, I was shocked when I found this, because inside, check this gem out. Behind it. Put that down a second. This was bought, and this is the receipt. Check that paper out. My friend Mick today was on about this kind of paper when he was a kid. It's retro as shit. This was bought at Global Video in Concert on the 16th of August, 1997. It is the 14th of July, 2016. Wow! This paper has pretty much not seen a light of day for a long time. They paid $7.99 for it. Now that is a massive receipt. The receipt is as retro as the video is. 
But yeah, a massive shout out to my friend.